Hi there. In this Culture Chat, we're joined by Sebastian Sequoia Grayson, a lecturer in philosophy who's been involved in teaching Introduction to Logic, one of the most popular undergraduate courses at the university and which has featured some 2,000 students this year. He reflects on what it's like to teach such a big course and shares some tips on how we can keep learning and teaching fun in an online setting. It's always great to have colleagues join us on Culture Chat. On this occasion, we've got a colleague of mine who's also a friend of mine. So Seb, thanks so much for joining us. Tim, it's marvellous to see you. Thank you for inviting me. Seb, you're involved in teaching Introduction to Logic, also known as Phil 1012. And in recent years, the course has broken enrolment records in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. Can you talk us through why you think our students are drawn in such a way to logic right now? Right now, the internet saturates our lives and every day, every morning, we need to, to navigate a, a, a whole range of competing information streams. And this is, this is a, a big burden cognitively on any of us. So what a lot of people are recognizing is that in order to navigate and to arbitrate between, between all these competing streams of information, we need to get a lot better at logical reasoning. And I think that is the explanation. And Seb, there are more than 2,000 students who enrolled in this course this year. How have you and your colleagues handled that volume of students? Well, well, it's not, it's not always straightforward, but I tell you what, what, is, what is a saving grace is just the relentless help from the professional staff across the school and the faculty as a whole. Uh, people like Beck Plum in Sophie, if it wasn't for uh, the professional staff in the university, something like even getting a course of this size off the ground, let alone running it successfully, would be absolutely impossible. They're the, they're the hidden heroes here, I can assure you. Well, Seb, you've been a hero to many students who've responded to your teaching style. Uh, can you give us any tips on how you keep learning and teaching fun, especially in an online setting? Uh, remember the sort of teachers and the style of teaching that we personally found really inspiring. Now, if we teach in that manner, in the manner that we find most inspiring, that we can get behind with all of our really general and genuine passion, then that sort of authentic passion is going to be picked up on by the students. They're going to recognize it because it's just an authentic, honest, very exciting conversation, right? And these sorts of conversations can start a tiny little fire. And if you continue just to be yourself, then that fire can spread. It's as simple as that. I know it sounds pithy. It's, it's not going to suit a list of bullet points or anything like this, but it's the truth. Just be yourself. A big thank you to Sebastian for joining us and to him and his colleagues involved in Introduction to Logic, both academic and professional staff members, a big congratulations and a job well done. And some great tips from Sebastian there too, reminding us of how important it is to build trust in the classroom and to teach in an authentic manner. 